Hello guys, I'm Steven here with Team Covenant in one of our first Infinity Strategy videos and I've got to say it's taken us all quite a while to get Infinity down and to really dive into the game like we want to, but I feel like we're getting there now. So I want to share some things with you that I've learned over the course of this series. The first of which is going to be why you're making bad decisions um, or why I made a bad decision. I wanted to, to show you what that was. Um, and it's really about doing what the objectives want you to do in a game rather than trying to be fancy and glorious and uh, you know taking out your opponent at every turn when you have the opportunity. And a great example of this actually happened in a recent game and I'm using kind of some proxies but you'll get the general idea. Uh, I was playing Rick and Rick's a, Rick's a really good player. He's probably the best player that we have here at the store and he was playing Toha. And as you guys know, Toha can be really terrifying. But I was doing quite well. My first turn was so good. It was one of the best turns in Infinity I've ever taken. I captured, I was playing Lifeblood, I captured like three objective points that turn and got my Link team back into cover, like full cover. There was nothing that Rick could do to kind of exploit my weakness. So his first turn was moving his forces up the side of the board and he got like maybe one or two points and was kind of positioned. He took a shot at one of my guys, knocked him out, no big deal. Now this is a, uh, it's, it's a proxy for like a Gao Rail, I think is what you call it, Gao Rail, or however the, the Toha pronounce it. They probably have like 20 tongues. But uh, he has an ADHL, adhesive launcher, which seems like no big deal. Odds of that hitting against a, a lot of face-to-face -face rolls, pretty low. Got that one burst on it, not a big deal. Um, so what he had done is he come over here and killed one of my units. It's the start of my second turn. And now I've got my Lazink uh, link team here. And I'm thinking to myself, well, look, look in front of me. There's, there's some crates here that I can maybe destroy for lifeblood with, with viral ammo. Or, you know, I could also just maybe pop around this corner and, and take a shot at, at Mr. Adhesive Launcher. That seems good. We'll take out one of his orders. Not going to be a problem. I've got a favorable range band. You know, my guys are good. I've got mimetism and cover. Everything looks great. And so essentially what happens is this. I spend my order on my link team. And I move my sniper over here. These guys maybe kind of reconfigure a little bit. We have a face-to-face -face roll, and uh, Mr. Heath's launcher over there crits. Uh, critical hit, which is, as you guys know as Infinity players, an auto hit, no saves, no nothing really. And so I get ADHL'd, and the rolls that, that are needed after that are all failed. I believe you still get a physical. I can't quite remember. I think we looked it up, and I rolled it. Uh, and so this guy's stuck which was unnecessary, completely unnecessary, because all my objectives are here. He can't even cover this side of the board. Like, he, he's really cut off from his options. So that unit isn't really probably going to do a lot in the future of this game. And instead, I took a chance, which is a very high probability chance, but it also opened me up to the risk of, like, that 5 to 10% chance that I was going to lose that role and get a guy stuck for no reason. And so then my next move was, well, now I was mad about it not actually angry, but like I was, I was upset. And so I moved uh, this other guy since my link team is still technically a thing. And I think he was over here and I think we allowed cover or something. And I took another shot and he crit again on that adhe adhesive launcher. Again, the second time with this guy, this little guy, this is like a 30 point model who is now stuck like over 60 or 70 points worth of my stuff because of the decisions that I made. So I opened myself up to this possibility happening for no great tactical reason. And I wanted to kind of demonstrate that because I think that's where uh, getting better at infinity really begins. It's starting to look at the board and evaluate those decisions and realize that yes, this is an option that I can take and the risk is fairly low, but what's the reward ultimately? And how is it better than just advancing up the board, getting more objectives and putting even more pressure on my opponent's second turn so that he doesn't have the luxury to place those guys exactly where he wants to. So that's the basis of the thing. And the only other thing that I'll end with is this story is even sadder than you thought it was. Because I've been using Lazigs here for the example, but in reality, this was a three-man Asawira link team, which was 120 points worth of models stuck here in this corner for no reason by this like 25, 30 point guy. So lesson learned by me and hopefully I can share it with you. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to help us out with uh, Infinity, get on the uh, website, maybe write a blog, hang out, uh, leave a comment on this video, or if you want to go above and beyond, we do have tons of Infinity stuff up for sale, including our new Infinity order tokens. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you on the next Infinity video.